Hello guys, and today I'm going to be giving you a quick tutorial on how to make a Craft Bucket 1.7 server using Spigot. Alright, so let's get started. So I'm on the Spigot page right here. I'll just put the link for this in the description, and you'll come here and you're going to get the most recent ver version of Spigot. And we're, I already have that downloaded, so... Oh, uh, actually, no, I don't. thought I did. Yeah, I have this one. I canceled it. Alright. Sorry guys, I'm also I'm a little bit sick today, so that's why my voice sounds a little different. But we'll let that download. Okay, and I can pretty much just minimize that page. We're going to make a new folder, and we're going to name it uh, Server. And we're just going to let this finish downloading. Alright, once this is finished, just put that in there. And we're going to want to rename this from spigot.jar to craft. Or actually, we don't need the capitalization. Craft bucket dot jar exactly like that. All right. Next, what you're gonna want to do is get out text edit, which uh, should have that on a Mac. If you're in like uh, Windows, just go to Notepad Plus or something like that. I'm not sure. New document, and you're gonna want to make. It, you see how it looks right now? You're gonna go into Format and click Make Plain Text. So it kind of looks like that, and we're gonna paste that in there. I'll put this in the description, so just copy it and paste it in something like this. And we're going to save it. Whoops. Uh, meant to click save. Okay, and we're going to save it as start.command. Like that, and we'll save it on our desktop inside of the server folder. Okay, so now that's saved inside this folder here. And we have two things. We have the craft bucket and we have the start.command. Now you're going to want to open up terminal, which is a thing on Mac, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure if that's on Windows or not. Okay, so you're going to want to type this in exact as I do. So chmod space a plus x space. Make sure you have that space after the x. That's pretty crucial. So it should look like that chmod a plus x space and you're going to drag the start dot command and you want to put it right after the c or c mod chmod a plus x place place it there and click enter and it should do nothing really don't click it too many times just click it once then close out of that once that's closed now click double click start dot command and it should start opening your server it says this is an unsupported build for 1.7 use it at your own risk join us at their website and the server will start in 10 seconds so it's kinda of just loading everything up and now it's gonna start generating as you see like it would kind of a normal server it's given us all our plugins folders and whatnot um, we can actually minimize the terminal now we got our world fo world folder we got all this uh, all this stuff here okay we can close out of this now and we're gonna launch minecraft and load 1.7.2 I'm not going to also I'm not going to be showing how to port forward in this this is just kind of how to make a uh, make a server really and then uh, maybe I'll make a tutorial on how to do it it's just kind of hard to do without showing off too much personal information with my IP and everything okay so we're going to go multiplayer and add server and just call it local well for your server address if you don't have a port forwarded you can make it your IP address or you can just local host click done and actually I already have one on there but so it's a basic 1.7.2 craft bucket server and yeah that's about it to what you can do now you can install your plugins whatnot port forward uh, and allow other players to get on your 1.7 ser 1.7.2 server has all the new biomes and whatnot it's pretty cool so i hope this tutorial guys this helped you out uh... if you have any questions leave that in the comments section below uh... see you next time goodbye